Hello, Maritz here. Welcome to this video about integration by substitution. And this builds on the idea that if you have a function f of g of x, so that function will be a function of a function, and we take the derivative of that, we take the outer derivative first, right? Keep what we have inside times the derivative of the inner function. And suppose we had something in this form then if we integrate that we should get something like this and in theory you can just look at the stuff and see okay we can pack it together and become it becomes this but in practice it's a, it's a bit hard but let us look at an example suppose we have uh, the function x uh, square plus one to the power of three we could of course expand this and then take the derivative but we could of course take the derivative of this using the chain rule so that will be something that's in the function to the power three that will give us three times the something to the power two since the derivative of x to the power three is three x to the power two but now x is then is the inner function times the derivative of the inner function that now will be two x and if we rewrite that in a bit nicer order we'll get 6x times x squared plus 1 squared okay so suppose we instead get the task to find this integral so the integral of 6x x squared plus 1 squared with respect to x so what we do is we try to look on an inner function or a part of the whole thing that if you take the derivative of that you get the rest of it so to speak and if we look at the derivative of this part we will get 2x okay in front of here we have 6x but we can fix that so what we will do is can we, we can write, we will write this at this integral of three times and by purpose i will re arrange this so three times x squared plus one squared and then 2x dx so that this part here is the derivative of this part here and now to a little bit of trickery or a bit of a method to do the very working so what we do here is that we say we put a variable u equals to x squared plus one so the inner function we have there and this line by the way i draw there is to indicate that this would be a helping step okay then we take the derivative of this so that will give us du dx equals to 2x so now we have almost the form we have over here now we can go about this to do this in a bit different ways but usually what i will do here is say i carry a multiplier through by dx when i do draw, draw two lines like this it means i will do this on both sides of what we have on the other side can we do this yes we can and why we will see that that we will get the right result so i can say the proof is in the pudding by doing this stuff we can see that it works and if we get something that is useful in the end okay so we get that du equals to 2x dx exactly what we had over here so now we can continue with our integral so we'll do the variable substitution three we keep x squared plus one oh that part over here that is u right so this would be u to the power of two and 2x dx oh that is du so this will be 3u square du which is very easy to integrate right the three we keep u square will become u3 three over 3 and then plus constant 3 and 3 will cancel so we will get u to the power of 3 plus c and then we substitute back what we had here right the thing we did over here 
So we substitute that back and we will get x squared plus 1 to the power of 3 plus a constant. And we can see that x squared plus up here, we see that x squared plus 1 to the power of 3, if we take the derivative of that, we will get exactly what we started with, 6x times x squared plus 1, and that squared. So this worked fine. So this, this is an example of integration by substitution. In the next video, we'll look at further examples. Thank you.